Hello monsters, this is your fellow monster rider Shiva. This is another video I wanted to make with regards to explaining the relationship I have developed and I have now with my monster. This is a place which is ever growing, evolving and ever developing. And I hope you're able to get something out of it and apply it to your lives. Scientifically speaking, the older we grow, our character is not based upon what we inherit. It then becomes more towards what we absorb from the environment that we grow up from. And oftentimes, frictions within ourselves, it's because the environment doesn't really help us sometimes to accept us who we truly are. It's the society or the environment that you grow up in that basically, you know, suppresses it. And since it goes for a long, long time you develop that friction this is where i would say it tries to suppress your monster and that's when a lot of negative things start to come out from us it depends on a lot of incidences that we go through troubles mostly the people that we've that we've grown up around incidents that we've faced all this hasn't really helped us to really understand ourselves put it in another way really understand our monster better of course the moral objective behaviors that we all accept but the worst an environment or a society can do is to disregard you or not let you accept who you are force that on you or say that this is the only way and that's it no society and environment is supposed to nurture and help you to understand who you are and who your monster is there can never be a you know like a defined or a universal way of growing up or being we are all different we come from different parts of the planet we come from different cultures we come from different traditions we come from just a lot of different things the only thing that can be really helpful on all of this is the communication the idea is not to like ignore it completely but to communicate with it any relationship requires good communication good discourse healthy one and if that is not strong then no relationship even relationship with you and yourself uh, or with you and your monster is not going to be good it's going to be destructive thus communication internal discourse uh, acceptance acknowledgement is the key to build that strength that's where my philosophy comes with the monster writer is to build that relationship taking all that in consideration because all this is vital tools basically to you know progress you as a person so for me there are times that are really ugly with him it gets difficult at times with him but the moment i realized that you know okay no he's part of me so i need to build my relationship better with him and this is going to be helpful so that's why i developed a good communication that's why every day was to you know have a better way of communicating have a better way of discourse have a better way of acknowledging him and his ways and his points so as to come to a mutual understanding and that's how i developed that relationship with him. it's this word that i'm now come out with and i love word it's a mix of ugly and beautiful so i call it ugly beautiful because to achieve a balance in anything to achieve you know a unison in anything we have to go through the ugly so my process or my training as a professional tennis player okay i have to go through this any professional athlete has to go through this because you reach a point through that ugliness a beautiful place where you are in unison with yourself where i like to say it with your monster each of us are different so we all take our time but if we give up on giving up that's the term that's what we need to keep in mind if we give up on giving up and stick on with that ugliness that ugliness will turn into a beautiful viewers instead of having a lot of arguments you will start to focus on that which you agree you try to focus on that which is advantageous for you that's where we need to come and it's not an easy road i i understand that it's never an easy road but the idea is to stick to it so the question that you pose is not when is it going to happen how is it going to happen this is what i've realized uh, recently it's not about the when and how it's about if you're doing the best you can every single second every single moment that's all that counts maximizing that effort to stick in there that's all that counts when and how will turn up at their own time because if my if is well satisfied when and how are eventually i know that for sure so that's the place which i try to arrive and every single time even in my trainings nowadays as well you know I've been playing this game for more than two decades, but I still have my ugliness. Every day is a new day to hit the ball. Every day the, the ball is different to hit. But all I have to do is stick in, stick in there. That's it, stick in there. I have my friction. I have to deal with that friction because my monster has its ways. I have my ways. Blah blah blah. But what is the strength in that relationship is I do acknowledge where he's coming from, and since I have done that, since I do respect my monster, he respects where I come from. So even if we have the friction, we stick into it because we trust each other, and then we reach a point of unison where, okay, that which we don't agree, we don't focus on; that which we agree, 
you focus on 100%. Mm. That's where, you know, it's that place I would say, ugly beautiful. Because you have to go through the ugly to reach the beautiful place. So this was another video that I was trying to make to show you a relationship that I built with my monster. Uh, once again, thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing all my content. Come out with a newsletter from Substack. I'll be posting that link, link down below and in my bio. If you're interested to, you know, understand my journey as a professional tennis player and my whole philosophy that I try to follow through Monster Rider. And also I've come out with my own shop on Shopify. You can find that link on my bio. Once again, be the Monster Rider.